Hey, my name is Phil with LegitMarketingReviews.com and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at a website SEO checker and audit tool called Site Checker Pro. Now in the Site Checker Pro review, I wanna show you exactly what this tool does, how it actually works, and by the end of this video, you should know if it's right for you. Now just to let you know, if you are considering getting started with Site Checker Pro, I have left a link in the description, and if you use that link, you're gonna be getting the best possible price, plus you'll also be helping support this channel. So first of all, what is Site Checker Pro? Well, like the name suggests, it checks websites and it checks it for certain things that are gonna help with your web presence. Everything from your backlinks to your on-page SEO, as well as your Google rankings and everything in between, Site Checker Pro is a beast of a tool. And there are actually a few little things that make this tool stand out. And that is the free Chrome extension that's actually gonna allow you to scan any page on the website or on the internet, I should say, as well as the website assistant that you get to use inside of Site Checker Pro, which is going to allow you to quickly get your website ranking better. So what I'm actually going to do is jump behind the screen and show you how Site Checker Pro works. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, we're gonna start here on the Site Checker homepage. Basically, what I wanna do is show you uh, some of the features that are listed here in case I miss out on them in the product review. So if you come to the homepage, hover over products, you'll notice you'll see a few different things here. Now there is the one-time checks as well as the regular monitoring. Basically, what you can do is scan your entire website and it's gonna do a SEO scan, so it's telling you how Google sees your website. You can also check how your articles are doing in terms of ranking. You've also got a backlink checker, an on-page SEO checker, and a website traffic checker. Now, this integrates with Google Analytics as well as Google Search Console, so it is going to show you accurately how your pages and how your analytics and everything are doing. And then finally, we do have the Site Checker SEO extension, which is this one here. I'm gonna link that in the description if you wanna go ahead and check it out. Basically, I'm gonna go through that in a moment, but it, what it allows you to do is actually go to any website on the internet and do a quick scan of it to show you how that website's actually going. Now, this is a perfect tool for those who run their own web agencies or do a lot of SEO for different clients because it's gonna quickly allow you to get the information you need to actually go back to the client with or to new outreach to new clients and let them know what you can actually do to improve it. So it's a very cool tool and I'll go through that in a moment. But before we get started, I just wanna go through the different pricing that there is. Now there is of course monthly and annually billing, doing annual is gonna save you. But basically you've got three different pricing plans. You've got the basic startup and the growing and what you're gonna notice is at the beginning we have for $29 a month, three websites, 1500 URLs, 150 keywords, and 3000 backlinks um, per basic account. Now as you go up, these are gonna increase dramatically, um, but the good thing about it is all plans include unlimited traffic, you know, local rank tracking, and all these other good bits and pieces you can look at. So it is a very, very powerful tool. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually jump behind uh, my dashboard and show you Site Checker Pro. So here we are, and when you actually first get started with Site Checker Pro, you are gonna have an amazing onboarding sequence, but of course, I've already gone through that. I've actually already added in my websites and I've played around with this tool, it's absolutely amazing. But I thought I'd delete everything and start again, but unfortunately, the onboarding doesn't come on. Basically, what it's going to do is ask you just to add in your website. It's gonna add, ask you to add in the bits and pieces and it's gonna go ahead and scan your website. So to get started, what you wanna do is come to create project, click on that button, and what we're gonna do is actually add in a website. Now, you'll notice that I'm actually on the growing monthly plan. I thought I might as well go big to show you all of the features inside of it. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you on. So what I'm gonna do is actually add in my website to Site Checker Pro to show you how the onboarding actually works. So I'm gonna go ahead, click on continue. It's gonna say what types of things do you wanna include in it. So I'm gonna tell it to actually detect my site map uh, automatically because I don't wanna add one in manually. But apart from that, you can just leave it like it is. So you come down to the bottom right, click on next. Next, it's going to ask how often you wanna actually monitor all your tracking and everything like that. So I'm gonna leave it on daily, click on next. And now it's going to ask you to integrate your search, Google Search Console as well as Google Analytics. So what I'm actually gonna do is pause the video and quickly integrate these right now. 
Okay, so those have now been integrated. You can also import your goals from uh, Google Analytics as well as your e-commerce data. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on next. And now we get the option to choose the search engine that we wanna use. So if I'm trying to go for New Zealand Google, we can, or we can choose the different type that we wish. So I'm just gonna go google.com actually, like so. You can also put the city if you wish, but I'm not going to bother. So I'm going to go ahead, click on next, and then it's going to ask for your keywords that you're actually trying to rank for. So I'm actually going to leave this section blank just so you uh, have, I have a little bit of privacy with the website. So what I'm going to do is click on finish. You can always add these in later as well. So I click on finish, and now what it's going to do is actually start scanning my website to give me an idea of how my website's actually going. Now it is going to take a little moment to actually do as it's going to go out, run the entire process process but it is going to take like maybe a minute or two and then it's going to be done so what I'm going to do is pause the video quickly and let you know how long it has taken okay so now it is done it took less than 60 seconds to actually complete and what it's done is provided all of this information as soon as it has finished now as you can see it has given me a score of 77 out of 100 which i don't believe is too bad considering i haven't spent too much time actually making this website better and if we come down here it's going to actually show you all of the things that are wrong with my website so as you can see we have seven critical errors we've got 482 warnings and then we've got 672 notices so there's definitely room for improvement for this website which is actually going to help me rank better so what you can actually do is on this list you can choose to see all the issues if you just want to see the criticals it's going to show there and then the warnings and then the notices and then the zero issues as well and if you want to get really in depth you can actually click on the different boxes and it's going to show you inside of here all the things that are wrong so for example if i look at the right we've got here all pages and then it's going to show me all of the different things inside of here that can be actually fixed so for example if i click on the 4xx client errors basically it's going to give me an idea of what this actually means and it says that the site checker bot found these URLs because other pages on your website link to them. So make sure these are actually live. So obviously there is something wrong with the links that are actually going to the page because it is coming back with errors. And if I go to title duplicates, it's going to basically say, hey, look, your SEO titles are the same change one of them to actually make it unique and then if we continue down we've got all of these other things as well so you want to obviously start at the top the critical issues you want to fix and then you want to work your way down so i'm going to go back on the left to site audit and i'm just going to have a quick look again now if this is for a client you can actually export this as a pdf you can also share it as a project which is really cool and if you have done some additions to it you can also recall it there as well as settings if you want to change any of the settings that you actually currently had um, you can do so inside of here uh, i.e you know the integrations rank tracker monitoring all that sort of good stuff I'm not going to go into them too in depth but basically it's all the settings that you chose when you got started now going back to the dashboard as you can see on the left here we have got a few different things we've got assistant dashboard site audit which we were just on site monitoring rank tracker and backlink tracker so let's go ahead and start going through all of these there is also a little extra tools tab where you can see on page checker traffic checker rank checker link strategy and one time site audit so if i come to the assistant basically what this assistant is going to do is tell me the things that are actually wrong with my website starting from the highest priority and then working its way down and what you can actually do is fix these different tasks and once they're completed they're going to go into the completed tasks tab um, where you can actually see all the pages that you've fixed but the good thing about this is if you come to the top right of each tab you'll notice it says how to fix now a lot of the times i don't exactly know what i'm doing if you are doing this for your own personal website this is actually going to show you how to fix it so if i click on this h1 is missing for example it's going to tell me all about what h1 actually is and the hierarchy of h1 and there's even a video talking about it inside of here so what you can do is actually just quickly come down and edit or write an h1 tag that closely describes the content of the article as well as the most relevant keywords associated with corresponding content so it's pretty straightforward go and put in a h1 header um, h1 header tag and then it'll be done so I can do that to 89 pages and get that better and it's going to give my website a better title. So as you can see, I've got a bit of work to do, um, but it's not impossible. So I'm going to go through that a bit later on. If we continue forth to dashboard, I'll show you quickly what this looks like. 
So inside of here, it's going to show you all of your different traffic as well as your different SERPs. If you've put in your keywords, they're actually going to show in here as well. And then it's got a whole other bunch of information as well as your traffic and sales, all that sort of good stuff. I haven't actually got any sales inside of here, so there's gonna be nothing inside of the sales tab. Um, but if you look, my traffic's been up and down for a little while. The good thing is it's starting to grow, which is good. Thank you for all the supporters that are watching this channel, very good. So moving forward, we have seen the site audit already as it's already uh, audited my website. We'll go to site monitoring. And basically this is just gonna show you the changes inside of your website. As you can see by this little example, we have here the total uh, changes inside of your website, the new pages, deleted pages, things like that. So it's just a good sort of overview because it monitors your page every single day and it shows you how many changes have been there. Once again, you can also share the project if you need to. Now Rank Tracker is pretty self-explanatory as it connects to Google Search Console. You just add in your keywords and it's gonna continuously monitor that. Once again, you can also export as PDF. So it's perfect if you you have clients you can show them how it's working and if you want to add in keywords you can just simply go click add keywords and add some inside of there now another good tool inside of SiteChecker Pro is actually the backlink tracker because what this is going to do is get you notified if some of your backlinks have gone right so if you've worked hard to earn some backlinks all of a sudden they disappear you can actually reach out to that person be like hey something's wrong like let's go ahead and fix this and every time you actually get a high quality new backlink you can also add it inside of here you can also import a list if you've used a different software before just so it's quick and easy to actually use and now let's have a look at the extra tools and actually just before i get into that what i'm going to do is actually show you the chrome extension the free chrome extension you can use so what i'm going to do is go to my website just to give you an idea of how it actually works now once again it is free to get i have linked it in the description so go ahead and check it out but if you come to the top and actually click on the site checker you'll notice that it's going to start scanning the particular page that you're on straight away now if we come down here it's going to say hey look here's the status code the page is indexable here's the size of the page which is actually really interesting to see you've got title description as well as your h tags and then you also have the keyword density of everything now this is amazing considering this tool is actually free to get highly recommend checking it out but it says basically what the website is trying to rank for it's also got some external links as well as internal links once again really amazing to see you've also got a lot of information to do with indexing things like the meta tags your robot.txt things like that are readily available perfect for once again if you own an seo agency or a web agency you can quickly come in here and check how things are doing you've also got the structured data if you know about that it's all there google page speed both for mobile and for desktop so you can quickly uh, swap between and then you've got a full report which actually takes you to uh, Site Checker Pro. So it's a really cool Chrome extension because if you're looking either for competitors, if you're looking for new clients, or if you just quickly wanna see how your website's doing, you can come in here, use the free Chrome extension and see how it's going. So moving forward, we still have a few extra tools to actually go through. We have here the on-page checker, which is basically like the Chrome extension, except it is much more thorough. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting that going. It is gonna take a minute or two once again to actually go through it. So while that's loading, I'll look at the traffic checker. So here is the traffic checker. And if you put in a website here, what you can actually do is click on check and what it's gonna do is find as much information about that particular domain or different websites domain and give you a rough estimate of how much traffic that website actually gets. So I'm not actually gonna go through it on this video, um, but I'll leave it there if you wanna have a look. Next we have Rank Tracker. So once again, it's going to give you an idea of how other websites keywords are actually going so if you have a competitor you can put in their website and it's going to show you how their google rankings are actually going next we have the link strategy so um, i haven't actually used this tool but basically what it says is evaluate competitors link building strategies so download a file with backlinks from ahrefs uh, SEMrush, uh, majestic or serp stat so you can have a look at the demo um, strategy and what it basically will look like if you did have a look but it's basically showing you all the different links that are there as well as the anchor cloud so that's uh, quite interesting if you're into that sort of stuff that's all there and then once again you've got the one-time site audit now the one-time site audit actually does have a cost inside of it as you can see it actually costs 10 credits just to let you know 10 credits is the equivalent of one us dollar but the good thing about this is if you do have a client and you do want to scan their website, it's going to scan up to 30,000 URLs. So you're going to have a very in-depth report just for one US dollar of a website. Highly recommend doing it if you do have clients. It's the best one dollar you will actually ever spend. So now it's been running for a while. Let's go back to the uh, on-page checker one more time. 
it's going to show me a score of 81 out of 100. If we come down, it's giving me everything from the mobile mobile page speed insights to all the different, uh, the structure of building it actually up, as well as all my images, which is quite inter interesting. So I see I've missed out on attributes for all of these. I got to go through that. And then it's just a very, very in-depth sort of thing. We've even got the uh, sort of the speed it loads and everything. It's quite, quite an amazing tool. So lots of information inside of there. Once again, you've got the navigation on the right. So what I'm going to do right now is since I've gone through the entire tool, I'm going to jump behind the screen, just talk about a few extra things. Okay, so that was Site Checker Pro. As you can see, it is a very comprehensive tool when it comes to SEO for on page, as well as uh, rank tracking, backlinking, everything like that. And it's also got that amazing Chrome extension where you can quickly audit other people's websites with just a click of a button. So if you are interested in a website SEO audit and checking tool, then I highly recommend checking out Site Checker Pro. Once again, if you want to help support the channel, the link is in the description. But apart from that, that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.